The following video will demonstrate how to create queries and mappings using the Production Center connector in VantagePoint. This is a new feature in version 5 of VantagePoint. I have VantagePoint Manager open and I've selected my Production Center connector. Underneath we have three collections. We're going to look at queries and mappings. So queries allow me to query Production Center, bring information back. Mappings allow me to query Production Center and create items based on types within VantagePoint. We'll demonstrate both. Let's start with queries. So currently under queries I have, I have no queries to find. I'm going to say right click, new, an item and create a brand new query. Now at this point we're querying the Production Center API which is an XML format. So if, unless you know the format you can type it here but I'm going to use the shared queries. So I'm going to click the link to existing query and pick one. In this case I'm going to come down to the actual connector and where the shared um, queries are stored and that's in Production Center Shared Queries. And there are over 50 standard queries here that you can use to actually bring back data. So for example I want to bring back production lines. So I can use the standard query get production lines and say OK. Brings back my XML query with the command. I can test this query to see what I get. At this point it's going against Production Center and bringing back the definition as defined in that XML query and bringing that back into to Vantage Point. Now, I do have the ability to edit this query. So in this case, but I can't edit the shared query. I've got to edit the actual query itself. So at this point, I'm going to select answer the query directly. Now it does remember um, the query that I defined, so I've got that here and saved it. I do first want to uh, name this this query, so I'm just going to copy production lines and I'm going to call my query production line. And then I do want to change the uh, query itself because I don't want to bring back all those columns, I just want a few. So at this point I can come into the query area and I'm going to type in um, another property called columns and then just type the names of the columns that I'm interested in. In this case, key, site number, name, create time, and last modified time. Let's just run this as a test. So hitting test, I now can bring back the information exactly the way I want it. So I have key, site number, name, creation time, and last modified time. Close. This is the query I want. At this point, I can say OK. So now I have a new query that anybody can use, whether it's any of our clients that, it, that leverage queries. Excel, our dashboards, and others, charts and grids. Now let's create a mapping. So what a mapping does is allow me to map uh, or create items within Vantage Point based on Vantage Point types using information coming from Production Center. I want to create um, a list of work centers or create work center items within Vantage Point that I can use then in reporting. So if I go right click, new, item. We're going to create a new mapping. In this case, again, I'm going to create something called work centers because I want to bring back the work centers that exist within Production Center and create items within Vantage Point. And I will call it list of work centers. And now I have to pick the item type that maps onto um, the data coming from Production Center. Now, out of the box with version 5, we have some Production Center new types. Therefore, I know the one I'm looking for is Production Center Work Center, or you can create your own. So you can create your own types that map onto data within Production Center. I also have the ability to say, when I create these items, where do I want them stored? So for me, I've got a folder that I want to put them in that I can use. So under System, under Solutions, I've created a Production Center folder and then a Work Centers folder. And this is where I want to put all of my work centers that I come back from production center and I'll say okay. I can define the um, the rate at which uh, the synchronization occurs whether that's daily, hourly, how often that's done at this layer. I can also decide if I want to delete items that no longer exist in production center from vantage point. So it's a great way to keep the two systems synchronized. And I'll say next. At this point I need to say well what's the query that will bring back my work centers? So again, I can use my shared queries or create uh, my own, but I'll use the shared queries. And again, I'm looking for my get work centers because I know this is going to bring back all of my work centers. I can hit test to make sure it's going to bring back the data I'm after. So here's the information, my keys, my site numbers, and the actual names of the work centers themselves. 
So I'll continue through this wizard by saying next. So now I need to map this column is my vantage point type or property name and now I need to put the property name or the column name coming back from the query within production center. So it's fairly simple. Name goes to name and I'll pick description. Description will go to description and so forth until I've completed mapping this out here. So we'll just finish up with site number and then category again is category. So now I've mapped property within vantage point to the column essentially coming from the query coming back from production center. And I can say next. Now this particular type has a collection of equipment. So if I wanted to, I could map that layer as well. Now we're, we're going to skip this for now. So I'll just say next. There's the final query that's going to be written and I can say finish. Now it hasn't executed this yet because I haven't turned on synchronization. So let's do that manually. I'll right click on production center and say synchronize. It'll run through the synchronization. I'll say OK. At this point, when I come to mappings, work centers, I'll now have a list of work centers that come from production center. So we've taken a look at definition of using queries to bring back information and using mappings to bring back items that can then be used in reporting. And we'll cover that in the next video. Thank you.